Hello and welcome YouTube. Today we are going to go through our audit of all of the items for the 999 stream. Thank you, Mermaid. <laughs> uh, for the years 30 through 33, so the last three years, well, 31 through 33. So, as a result of that, yes, science! Let's go ahead and get started. So, let's look at what we have first here which is our total sheet. Uh, so the goal of the challenge, of course, is to get 999 of every stackable item in the game. I split this up into categories, starting with fruits, veggies, forage, flowers, fish, row, artisan goods, cooking, animal products and mob drops, seeds, minerals, metals, and gems. I'm sorry, materials, metals, and gems, minerals, other artifacts, and decorations. And you can see my percentage here. So whether I'm completed or not is this column, and my percentage done is this column here. So I don't actually edit anything. This is just a summation sheet. So the things that I edit are over here. So a few years ago, we finished fruits, so we do not need to edit this at all. We have all of our fruits done. We are still working on veggies because of the elusive fiddlehead fern. So what's going on? There we go. Let's go ahead. go ahead and take a look at our fiddlehead ferns here so we've I think we actually used a lot recently here but let's go ahead and add up what we have to begin with 999 plus 37 plus 456 gives us 1492 sounds familiar so we went from 1154 to 1492 which brings us up to 62 total percent complete for Fiddleheads. On to Forge. So we actually finished something in this category this year. Which reminds me, I'm going to be writing down the things that I finish. Because it's good to keep track of that. So nothing finished yet, but we'll get there. So on to Forge. Let's go over to our Mushrooms to begin with. So our first Mushroom is the Magma Cap, which we now have 466 of instead of 324. And the Morel, which we have, it's hard to read from there, so I'll read from here, 608 of. So part of my rules is that they have to be in a single stack, which is why you might notice, even though uh, we have more Magma Caps and more Morels, I pick the highest stack, because that is the highest amount that I have. Okay, next thing we need to look at are the rainbow shells and nautilus shells. Now, the nautilus shells I have finished with. I finished right before the end of the year here. So we have 999 nautilus shells, and that is our first completed stack this year, or this set of years. So that's all done. So nautilus shell is all finished. Okay, and now Rainbow Shell we worked on, but we were not able to get finished. We're up to 566. So we actually got over 200, which is pretty good. It's a very reasonable amount for a few years. So this sheet's looking a lot better now. I think the percentage went up, but I didn't actually uh, check, unfortunately. Okay, Flowers we've had done for quite a while, so we don't need to worry about those. Fish. Fish is going to have a lot of different updates to it. So let's go in order of what we have done. I know for a fact that we finished bullheads. Um, I think that's the only thing. Uh, bullheads and catfish. So let's mark up our bullheads being done. So 999. Bullheads finished. Catfish. 999. Catfish finish. So let me go ahead and write those down. Bullhead. Catfish. All right. The other ones are a little harder. Um, I believe we finished chubs as well. Yes, chubs are also done. So let's mark that one done. So lots of fish done, which is good. Lots of fish to go. This is looking really clean compared to what it used to be. Uh, Dorodo, Flounder, Ghostfish are all things that we're working on. Halibut actually as well. So let's go ahead and check on the number of those that we currently have. Dorados, sorry Chad. 
Some of us are not perfect. So Dorado is at 567. We have some in the ponds, but I'm just not going to count those. It's easier to just count the ones that we have collected. So 567 Dorado. All right, Flounder. Flounder, we have 841. Now you might notice that we're actually losing some Flounders here compared to what we had last time. That's because a lot of the flounders went into something called seafoam pudding, which is a cooked item, which we're finished with now. So we actually gained flounders, but it won't reflect that here. Um, if you see, it's, you can tell at the top here, this is the column we just filled in plus that cooking item, the seafoam pudding. So once we update that cooking item, we're gonna come back and look at this and this will be much closer to being done. It will actually be very close to being done. We're almost just 150 away from finishing it. It'll be done before next audit for sure. All right, Ghostfish, we're at 382. We just started the Ghostfish, so we don't have a whole lot of them yet. And Halibut, uh, we're actually gonna reduce the amount of Halibuts we have because I have a bunch of gold quality ones, but we're gonna be stacking the non-gold ones here. So 298. So we're reducing it for now, but it will be much higher by the time we come back here. It'll be done by the time we audit again, for sure. All right. For the other fish on this list, we have not made any changes to any of them besides Midnight Carp, which we will now put in at 221. For the same reason, it's going to reduce from what it was before. But because we've actually finished Seafoam Pudding, it's going to shoot back up when we fill that in later on. Uh, and the other thing that we worked on significantly is the Miss Angler fish. So if we head on over to Miss Angler, that is not the right chest. Miss Angler is right over here. You can see we are very close to finishing it. We were not unable to finish this year, unfortunately. So at 963 total in a single stack, we will put that on there. Uh, we're 96% done. All right, uh, I believe nothing else here has to be updated, but let me make sure of that really quick. We're just going through, I don't know, chat, do you remember anything else that we finished in here? Salmon makes sense to be done. Sardines, oh, I didn't know sardines weren't done before. Yeah, sardines are definitely done now. I have to prove that, I assume. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at them really quickly. Sardines, 999. I was unaware that we hadn't finished them last time. We were very close, it looks like. So sardines are finished. Very good. All right, sea cucumber, all done. Shad, all done. So I don't think any of these other ones have updated significant, significantly enough to matter, but we're not gonna update them. Lapia, tuna, void salmon, walleye, wood skip. Nope, we're good. All right, let's go on to the row. So fish row is another important thing that is involved with fish. So let's go ahead and look at which things for row we have completed. Luckily, these are all alphabetical, so this becomes pretty easy. So bullhead and catfish are probably going to be the easiest down here. So bullhead, catfish are all done. So let's go ahead and put that in. Nine bullfish. I'm sorry, bullhead. Nine 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 catfish. Nine 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 chub. Okay, I'm pretty sure sardine row was already done, so we don't need to worry about that. Chub, catfish, bullhead, all finished. Uh, let's see what else we might have done. Crab, cockle, crayfish, okay. None of those, unfortunately. The uh, crab pot fish are very slow at getting row done. But um, the Dorado, or yeah, Dorado, we're at 915 of, so let's go ahead and add that in. Okay, flounder row. I'm pretty sure we are completely done with. Flounder row right here, 999. 
So it looks like we're actually reducing it, but um, we also finished the aged row. There we go, Wander Row, which we will update in the next sheet in the Artisan Goods area. All right, and now let's just update the ones we have started but haven't finished yet. So the Ghost Fish Row is at 449. The we just started halibuts, so it's only at 142. Okay. And for the other row we're gathering right now, Midnight Carp and Flounder are both done. Muscle row is at 531. So Muscle's row is very slow. All the crab pot fish row takes you only get about 10% of your rewards from the crab pot fish ponds our row. So the muscle row, we've been working on it for a while. You can see when we did this three years ago, we had 120, and now we've only got 531. So it's very slow going, unlike the other ones, which are a little quicker at least. Let me double check on some of these further ones here. So flounder we already checked, but midnight carp. Oh, we were not done with midnight carp yet, but now we are. So let me go ahead and type that in there midnight carp row all done so that one is now finished as well and I think everything else is pretty good Chad is being naughty hey squirrel welcome in <laughs> I am not surprised that Chad is being naughty do not do not concern yourselves with them all right, on to Artisan Goods. That's all the row that got updated. So Artisan Goods is pretty much done outside of a few exceptions. Uh, we're gonna update as many of those as we can here. But the biggest change here is uh, the row, like normal. So let's go ahead and look at our aged row, which we keep up here. So our additions are gonna be the aged bullhead row, aged catfish row, aged chub row, aged flounder row, and aged midnight carp row. I don't think any of those were done. So let's go ahead and add the bullhead, the catfish, the chub, and I'm going to write all these down so I don't forget. Uh, I don't think we've made any differences there. The flounder row. The Midnight Carp, this is the right one, yep. Okay. Uh, other than that, I don't think we added any more row to the totals here, age row that is, but there is a few other things we need to add to in this list. So there are, if we go back to our area here, there's wine, juice, jelly, and pickles that are not of any particular brand. So you'll see this one is just jelly, this one is just juice, this one is just pickles, and this one is just wine. Luckily the wine we don't need to worry about because we get it from the Statues of Endless Fortune. But the other ones we very slowly get from the traveling cart. So let's go ahead and start by doing the jelly. We have 53 total jelly. It looks like that has not changed in three years. Unfortunately, it's pretty slow to get it. I know that the, ju the juice has changed though. So we now have 32 total juice instead of 24. And it looks like juice, jelly. Oh, I forgot to do the pickles. And I think the pickles has changed as well. We're up to 32 now instead of 29. So we got three of those. Very slow updating, unfortunately. But we are making some progress with that. All right, on to cooking. Now cooking, we managed to get two things done in our cooking category this year. So let's go ahead and check on those. The first one is the maki roll. We have 999 maki rolls. We are waiting on seaweed to finish that, but we're all done with it now. So that is a completed stack. And the other is the seafoam pudding. Seafoam pudding, we have 999 of them. So if we type that in there, we will see we are done with seafoam pudding. 
and perhaps even most importantly, with Seafoam Pudding and Maki Roll finished, we have completely completed our cooking category. So we are now 100% done with all of our cooked goods. So if we go through up here really quick, you can see that every cooked item is in a full stack of 999, including the different ingredients here for cooked, for cooked goods. Ooh. And that is our first category completed since fruits, I believe. So it has been a long time coming. Now feed us. No cat. <laughs> Alright, animal products. So there's a, animal products and mob drops. So let's go ahead and start with our dragon's teeth. So if we come in here, we have 186 dragon's teeth. Unfortunately, they are very slow going. So 100 and... I literally just read it. 86... Puts us up to 10%. Yay, that's a number. <laughs> yes, Courtney, it is update day. Our Galaxy Souls. We had 385 of them. We now have 478 of them. 478. We're at almost 50%. It's pretty easy to track the percentage on that one, though. Because <laughs> I just need the stack of them. For slime, let's put in our raw slime first. Slime is used in a lot of different things, though, so we will not get a good sense of how much total we have, unfortunately. But it looks like we have 1,406 slime at the moment. Okay. It's not going to change much, but I did use a lot of it. I have to update the other items that use slime. So if I click on here, you can see how many different items use slime in large quantities. So when we update this, uh, we're going to come back and see how much slime has changed. All right, let's look at our eggs first, though. Uh, so we have 361 green eggs. No ham. We have 340 blue eggs. We have 81 red eggs. We have 377 purple eggs. Thanks, Skull Caverns. And we have 300, 189, excuse me, tiger slime eggs. All right. And we have to update our squid ink here to 999. So we have exactly the correct amount because we no longer have any overflow that we need. Okay. Let's go on to seeds. Uh, we did not update seeds too much. We're only missing two things in the seeds category, and they both come from the same thing. Uh, we need mango saplings and banana saplings, and the only realistic way to get a stack of those is with golden coconuts. So we have 214 banana saplings, up from 162. We opened up some golden coconuts for those. And for our mango saplings, we're up to 294. We get a few extra mango saplings because they can drop from tiger slimes where the banana saplings can only come from buying them from mussels, I think, or dragon's teeth, one of the two, which is just way too expensive, or getting them from the golden coconuts, which we're trying to do. Yes, the audit will be posted on YouTube, Luca. I usually don't edit them at all, too, so it'll just be the straight-up audit. Okay, and these are slowly going up, but that's all we can do for seeds as we're going. Okay, bone fragments. Uh, we used up a whole lot of bone fragments, so we're actually going to have significantly less than we used to here. But we have three stacks plus a fourth stack and an additional 324. Since that four goes into those other four stacks, we know that we have 4,320 bone fragments. Which you'll notice is significantly less than we had before, although it's only 1% of the total. Uh... <laughs> interestingly so what we're going to be doing is when we update our ostrich incubators this number is going to go back up so just like everything else and then also cinder shards is in a similar position where we have only 1186 so this is going to go down the total on this is going to go down but it's going to go back up when we um put in our ostrich incubators because they're all used in ostrich incubators okay 
hardwood we're going to have to adjust later, but we'll worry about that when we put everything else in. Prismatic shards. So let's look at our total for prismatic shards at the moment. We have 1,356 prismatic shards. Okay. And when we add magic rock candy, this number will go up as well. Magic rock candy you can only buy once a week, but they each cost three prismatic shards. Okay. On to magma geodes, omni geodes, and stone geodes. Oh, we were in the right chest already. <laughs> Alright, so stone geodes are done. Magma geodes are done. So let's go ahead and put those in. Magma geodes, 999. Stone geodes, 999. I went out of my way to go ahead and finish those uh, during this time. I've just been putting it off. All I had to do is bomb the mines in the specific floors that need them. And now those are both done. For Omni Geodes, I have uh, 1,010. The reason I only have 1,010 is because I use them to make artifact troves. So uh, once we put in our artifact troves that we have and our artifacts that we've gotten from the artifact troves, we'll see how much this number actually shoots up because right now it looks like it's been the same. Okay, time for another stack that took a long time to finish. 999 radioactive bars and 999 radioactive ore. And these will look unchanged, but when we come back, they will be done, I promise, uh, because I finished everything that's used in them. So radioactive bars, we'll come back and check them when we're done, but they are in fact done. I promise. Hey, Big Leb, we're doing an audit right now where we're going through and checking everything that's done and updating our spreadsheet. Okay, on to minerals. Minerals has been done. I think minerals was the first category I finished because everything in this category can use a crystallarium. So it is all done. It just took a lot of clear crystallariums. All right, on to our largest category, the other category. In the other category, uh, we have to first update our artifact troves. So we are sitting at, oh, uh, this isn't quite right. Let me uh, quickly grab our extras in here and put those in the right spot. Nope, that's not the right spot. There we go. Okay, we have a lot of artifact troves. We've been trying to open them. Unfortunately, it's been kind of difficult to do so. Uh, it looks like we've got 3,314. I have learned how to do quick maths with 999s, but uh, 3,314 total artifact troves. We have not been able to open all of them yet. Okay. And when we upgrade our artifacts as well, we'll see this number shoot up. I think this number should be around 70%. We're getting pretty close to getting done with those, but we'll come back and check on it later. All right, auto petters and auto grabbers. So I'm gonna make an executive decision here that's going to put our progress back a little bit, but I think is the right thing to do. Uh, we are currently using some auto petters and auto grabbers at the moment. I'm going to stop counting the ones I am using toward my total uh, just because they're going to stay in there so they're not going to be in the stack anyways eventually I might be able to rescue them when I get rid of some of my animals but I'm just going to use these totals here so we have 51 auto grabbers and 56 auto petters so auto grabber I actually am going to lose some but auto petter is going to go up by six there are six I think of each in use but I'm not going to include those in the total. Oh, that didn't work. What have I not finished? Huh. I think whatever I'm using battery packs for is done, but I'll go back and fix it later. All right, next thing we need to work on is the deconstructor. Deconstructors have not changed. I have not purchased any of them, unfortunately. Enricher. Enrichers are in here. We currently have 96 enrichers. So over the last three years, we've gained about 30 of them. Or 20 of them, huh? Math is hard. 
Farm computers. Farm computers use dwarf gadgets, which are kind of rare, unfortunately. We are up to 310 of them, so we did make about 100 over the last three years. Okay. Gone on down to golden coconuts. Uh, golden coconuts. We currently have about 999, but we have a, a few extra than that. So 946. I'm sorry, 1046. We usually open all of them before the end of the year, but 46 is not that many. Okay. Hopper. Hopper has done something amazing. Also known as God coconuts. Finished. Coconuts. 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 Thank you, Shiny. So we have 999 hoppers. So we can officially consider that to be complete. And when we go back and check Radioactive Ore and Bars, it should be complete now. Alright, Judomo Chests. We just bought a whole bunch at the end of the year. We're up to 681 Judomo Chests. That took three years, by the way, <laughs> to get that many gems. It took quite a while, but we're up to 681. It's probably going to be another two audits before we're finished with Junimo Chests. It's just that slow. Magic Rock Candy. Magic Rock Candy, you can only buy once a week. We're up to 335 total. Which puts us over one-third of the way done. Good night, Mermaid. Ostrich incubators. That's been sitting at two for a long time, but I finally decided to make some room. Oops. Forgot to put these back. <laughs> I finally decided to make some room in my uh, inventory, get rid of some hardwood bone fragments and cinder shards. So I made 170 of these ostrich incubators. Okay, so we're up to 17% done with that now. That took a lot of resources though, so it's going to be a long time since till we add more to that. Pressure nozzle, we were at 70. We've gotten actually quite a lot of those. We're up to 110 pressure nozzles now. We don't purchase these. They drop from monsters in the harder mines. We've just done a whole lot of work in the harder mines. All right, on to the rare crows. So, rare crow number one. We now have 19 of those rare crows. Okay, rare crow number two. Which one's two? Uh, is the... Which one? We're up to 16 of those. So over three years, we got three of them. That's good. <laughs> that means we got all the ones we wanted. All right. Rare Crow number four is the Snowman one. We're up to 160 of those. You can get these from the traveling cart pretty regularly. Still takes some time, though. Uh, Rare Crow number three, we do not have any more. Those are the alien ones. I have to go actually buy those, and I have not done that yet. Uh, rare Crow number five, we have 16, so we got three of those as well. That's the one you buy at the Flower Dance. All right, Seaweed. Uh, seaweed we've been working on, but we didn't quite finish it yet. Did I call you Mel? <laughs> Sorry, Witch, I did not mean to if I did. Okay, so Seaweed, we are at 813. We will definitely be done by the next audit, but we're not quite done yet. 813. Very good. Okay. Slime Incubator. Slime Incubator, we did make a lot of those. I think we're over halfway done with it. Slime Incubators cause cost a lot of slime. It's 100 for each Slime Incubator. So 581 represents uh, 5,000... No. 50,000 slime. <laughs> so that increase... That was over 20,000 slime that we got over those three years. All right, Statues of Endless Fortune. Unfortunately, I did not count how many we have. So uh, we're going to do a quick gamba here. Not actually a gamba. We're just going to go through all these real quick. And we're going to count up the total that we get from gathering all these items. I don't know. Onion, run a gamba actually real quick. Uh, do it for one minute only because we don't want to go too fast. Are we going to get more Omnis than anything else from the Statues of Endless Fortune? I'll probably cut this out of the video, but maybe not. So, first of all, welcome back, YouTube. Sorry about that little interruption there. 
we've got a total of 190 plus 177 plus 212 plus 208. Omni's won, by the way. So go ahead and uh, put that out there, Onion. And we have a total of 787 statues of endless fortune. 787. So we gained about 200 statues during that time period. Which is about 200 million in three years. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. There we go. Let's put these back too. Next up is the Island Warp Totems. I haven't made any of these, but I did find some. So we're up to 11 Island Warp Totems now. Uh, next up, we have... The Void Ghost Pendant. We do not have any Void Ghost Pendants, and we never will. Moving on to uh, these things. <laughs> Moving on to artifacts. Uh, starting with the Ancient Seed, we have finished... Starting with the Amphibian, amphibian Fossil, we have 128. The Anchor, we have 712. I know how to go alphabetical, I swear. Ancient Doll is 660. Ancient Drum is 729. Ancient Seed, we have completed at 999. So that's another completed stack. It drops from bugs. Ancient Sword is on the next page so let's head on over here 746 snowfall thank you so much for the follow and evolution thank you for the follow as well our arrowhead is sitting at 734 artifacts are always the hardest to update there's just so many things bone flute is 762 but we're getting pretty close to done with these chewing stick is 747 solid plane chicken statue is 764 chipped amphora is 685 dried starfish is 726 dwarf gadget is 748 Dwarf Scroll 1 is 999. We have completed that stack. Okay. Love how chat is in real time finding out that at some point I have to divorce Leah. <laughs> Alright. Dwarf Scroll 2 is at 603. Dwarf Scroll 3 is at 794. Dwarf Scroll 4 is at 419. Dwarvish Helm is at 712. Elven Jewelry, Elvish Jewelry rather, is at 693. Fossilized leg, we actually have to go back to the other chest for. Is that 655? Fossilized ribs, is that 170? For some reason, these artifacts from Ginger Island do not alphabetize with the other artifacts. So that's why we have to come over here. Fossilized skull, is that 218? Fossilized spine, is that 83? Fossilized Tail is at 163. I see your uh, science question. Go ahead and ask it, um, Snowfall, and I'll make sure to answer it probably after the audit. Glass Shards is at 783. The Golden Mask is at 765. Golden Pumpkin, we have to go back over here for. 
It's another one that doesn't mesh with the other artifacts. 670. Golden Relic is at 724. Mummified Bat is at 248. Mummified Frog is at 61. We actually managed to get about 20 of those, which is pretty good over a three-year period, to be honest. The Nautilus Fossil, which is different than the Nautilus Shell, is at 130. Ornamental Fan is at 709. The Palm Fossil is at 93. The Pearl, we gotta go back over here for, is at 781. The Prehistoric Hand Axe, 708. The Prehistoric Scapula is at 173. The Prehistoric Skull is at 111. The Prehistoric Tool is at 721. The Rare Disc is at 762. The Rusty Cog is at 999, which is another completed stack. We finished the Rusty Cog. Okay. The Rusty Spur, wait, Rusty Spoon, we also finished at 999. A Rusty Spoon is done. Another stack. The Rusty Spur is at 747. The Skeletal Hand is at 78. The Skeletal Tail is at 714. The Snake Skull. Oh, I gotta go over here, right? That is down here at 142 now. And the snake vertebrae is at 45. That's a very slow one, unfortunately. Strange dolls of the green variety are at 122. Strange dolls of the pink variety are at 151. Treasure chest is at 705. And finally, the trilobite is at 142. What is wrong with you, chat? <laughs> Splatoon, apparently. Okay. The last sheet here is the decorations. We have our plush bunnies, which are an item that you can get from the Egg Festival or from the movie theater. We have 11 of those. So, whoops, not 111, I wish. The Stone Junimo is an item that you can get from behind the community center. We have 16 of those, which means we missed one. Uh-oh. We missed one. <laughs> the Stone Owls that spawn, we have six of them. And finally, the tea set, our last item here, we have 10 of them. We have 10 total tea sets now. And that is all of our items. There's one thing I do want to update here, and that's our yearly item tracker. Um, I'm guessing last year is the one that I forgot to get the Junimo statue, so I'm just gonna mark that down before I forget. Uh, we did get the Junimo statue this year. I remember doing it. We got the Rare Crow at Spirit's Eve. We did not get the tea set this year. Okay, so that is all locked down. Let's go back to our total screen and see what we have now we went up an entire percent i think we were at 91 before and now we're at 92 percent good job team uh <laughs> it might be the last time we go up a whole percent that easily
our veggies still at 99 waiting on that fiddlehead well we're gonna go through each category individually in a second here uh, we need 337 million more money 53,000 more Q gems I don't know if that takes into account the um I don't think it takes the galaxy souls into account I think I took that off so yeah 53,000 is actually probably the amount we need okay so fruits have been done so for veggies we have 62 percent of our fiddlehead ferns complete we're going to continue working on those for sure uh for our magma caps we can get these magma caps while we're going for mummified bats um hopefully we'll get them done around the same time my guess is it'll take more time for the mummified bats so i don't really need to worry about these morels we're working on we get them from our mushroom cave but additionally i try to grab the iridium quality ones from the woods secret woods every spring uh, 69 is actually a pretty good answer to the question. <laughs> I don't know if you're responding to which or not, but it's pretty close to 69 more. Uh, Harvest of Starfruit would probably finish money. <laughs> uh, rainbow shells. Um, we don't get Nautilus shells anymore from the underwater levels of the harder mines, but we'll still have to go there for the rainbow shells. I'm so good. <laughs> Alright, fish has been chugging along for a while now. You've probably seen all my fish ponds. Uh, on here and that's what they're doing we have 73 of them and they're basically in constant use to get all the fish all the row all the aged row all those different things so as we're going through them here uh here's our row same thing artisan goods the majority of the artisan goods we need now are the aged row but additionally we do still need the fiddleheads for the fiddlehead pickles and fiddlehead juice so we're working on that cooking is now done yay <laughs> I can um, take this down to 999 here. Anything else like that? Oh, here we go. Hash browns down to 999. And oil down to 999. Now it's a perfect sheet. Everything is locked. Good. All right. Animal products is a big one. Dragon's teeth we're going to slowly get while we're getting the mummified bats. However, we're going to get a lot of it from the... So I need two stacks is really what it is because some of them are going to go to the island warp totems. Uh, as a result of that, I'm going to be using stingray fish ponds to finish up whatever I don't finish from just running the volcano. Galaxy souls have been chugging along. We get about probably 30 to 40 every year. Uh, so along that pace, we'll probably finish in about <laughs> 20 years. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's just going to take some time. Uh, slime. Slime we've been doing really good with. We're up to 77% with slime. And I'm pretty sure we were at like 50 <laughs> not that long ago. So um, every time we get a Skull Cavern Invasion quest, we get about five stacks of slime. So about 5,000 slime. So as a result of that, that usually is what bumps it up. So since we need about 40,000 more, um, you can kind of estimate how many more Skull Cavern quests we'll need for that. Uh, for most of the eggs, we can eventually use the excess slime, put them into slime incubators, get the eggs, things like that. Slime egg presses, sorry. Um, the purple and red ones will get a lot of extra from doing skull cavern dives. And then the tiger slime eggs uh, we can get from the lionfish fish ponds. So all the ones we have so far are from tiger slime drops, but uh, any extra we can get from lionfish fish ponds when we need to. The seeds, we're waiting on golden coconuts for these. Um, that's going to take approximately 30 years in game, unfortunately. Just part of how things are going to go. We're going to finish it up with blue discus fish ponds, which will shorten the time significantly. But that'll probably be the last fish we do because of that. Okay. On to bone fragments. We're very slowly gathering these because we're going to the uh, dig site as often as possible. Cinder shards. Uh, we're getting those from the volcano mines however we're going to finish it up with stingray fish ponds kind of like the dragon's teeth we'll get them both from there we get one prismatic shard per day um we also get some extra ones here and there uh the one that we're getting per day though is enough to sustain us it'll take some time don't get me wrong we're over a thousand away a thousand days is like nine years in stardew uh so at least that long before we finish it up but that's fine this is not a sp sprint this is a marathon right <laughs> Uh, Omni Geodes is looking really pretty at 76%. We only need about um, 30,000 more Omni Geodes, which is really good. 
Uh, we'll get that in no time, probably along four or five years away from now. So before year th 40, we'll be done with artifacts that come from treasure troves. Minerals have been done. Other. So let's take a look at our artifact troves. Also 76%. That's not a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> they both feed the same thing here. So we are 76% done with our artifacts, basically. Uh, our artifacts from the artifact troves. So we're getting very close there. It looks like we only need about 6,000... Okay, about uh, 7,000 more uh, artifact troves. Opening up 7,000 troves takes a while, but I'm willing to work on it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you cannot use artifact troves in the Geode Crusher, so we are forced to use the... Uh, Clint. The Clint. <laughs> Which is a very slow process, unfortunately. Auto, auto grabbers, auto petters. Um, auto grabbers I can just buy, but I get them at the same rate as auto petters from the um, from Skull Cavern treasure chests. So there's no point for me to buy them. As long as I'm getting auto petters, I'll also be getting the auto grabbers. When I finish auto petters, I'll buy whatever auto grabbers I need at that point. Uh, deconstructors. Uh, we're going to work on Deconstructors after we finish Junimo Chests. They're one of the only things that you have to buy from Mr. Q on the uh, behind the nut door. Uh, there's no other way to get Deconstructors in the game. So you have to buy them. They're 20 Q gems apiece. It's going to be a grind, but uh, we're going to finish Junimo Chests first. Enrichers. So Enrichers and um, Pressure Nozzles fall, fall into the same category, where you can buy them for Mr. Q, but they also drop. So once I finish Deconstructors, if I still need Enrichers and Pressure Nozzles, I will be using Mr. Q to buy the rest of them, but and using Q gems to buy the rest of them. But until then, I don't need to worry about it. Uh, farm Computers use Dwarf Gadgets. Um, I'm trying to get as many Dwarf Gadgets as I can from Bombing the Mines. I'm going to get a full stack from the Artifact Troves, but I do not want to open another 27,000 Artifact Troves for another stack of... Uh, farm computers farm computers so as a result of that i'm getting the rest of them from bombing the mines so uh when you bomb the mines between i think it's between levels 40 and 60 the or when you till the mines bombing also works you can get artifact i mean uh, you can get dwarf gadgets you can also get strange dolls so i'm using that to get the strange dolls as well golden coconuts we kind of already talked about <laughs> i'm working on them they're very slow Junimo chests. We bought about 200 over the last while here, but uh, we are still about 300 away. So hopefully the next audit, maybe, but probably not. It's probably going to take a while, unfortunately. Uh, Magic Rock Candy. You can only buy one per week. So I'm I'm more limited by the fact I can't buy more than I am by the, by the prismatic shards it costs to buy them. Uh, however... Uh, I still don't have enough Prismatic Shards, even with this much Magic Rock Candy, so it's not as though I am completely done. Ostrich Incubators. They are really expensive. I made 170 of them. It'll probably be another, like, seven or eight years before I can make another 170 of them. The Bone Fragments, Cinder Shards. I'm done with the Hardwood. <laughs> hardwood is done. It's Bone Fragments and Cinder Shards that are both, they take a long time to gather and you need a lot of them. Pressure nozzles we already talked about. The rare crows. A lot of these rare crows are once per year, which means it'll be year 1000 before I finish them. So as a result, they're very slow. Uh, the rare crow three, I could finish it. I just have been too lazy to go about doing it. So maybe by the next audit, we'll have that one done. Uh, rare crow four, we get at a higher rate. As you can tell, there's 160 of them uh, because the traveling cart can have it in the winter. So every time I go, I see it at the traveling cart, I buy it. It's the snowman one. Seaweed. Seaweed will be done probably before the end of spring next year. Uh, so we're very close on seaweed, luckily. Slime incubators, we're just waiting on slime. Statues of Endless Fortune, we're waiting on money. Um, as Onion so nicely pointed out, we're probably about 60 or so starfruit harvests away from finishing this. Uh, that sounds like a lot, but compared to how many I've had to do to get this far, that's, that's almost nothing. So we'll be done with that pretty soon. I think I calculated it's going to take about four more years or so. But uh, yeah, it's uh, getting very close to being done. And then I won't know what to do with all that money I have. Island Totems. These require Dragon's Teeth. That's the only thing holding me back there. 
Statue of Endless Tuna. No. <laughs> Witch, what are you doing? Have you been saying that for every item I've talked about? <laughs> what if I said tuna? Uh, void Ghost Pendants. So, in order to get Void Ghost Pendants, you have to have 10 hearts with Krobus, and you have to be single. I have 10 hearts with Krobus. I am not single. I am currently dating Leah. And I am not interested in divorcing Leah as of yet. So, we'll have to wait on the Void Ghost Pendants. At one point, though, we'll have to say goodbye to Leah. But we'll remarry. We'll, we'll marry her in the end. Okay. On to our artifacts. So, anything that is an artifact trovable artifact, so anything with a yes in this column means I can get it from the artifact troves. Uh, they're kind of around the same amounts. I think our lowest one right now is Ancient Dolls with 660. So that is basically our minimum. Uh, so we're at least 66% done because of that. Uh, the other ones on here, well, most of the other ones on here are from fossils or fossil artifacts, which have a low chance of appearing when you break a bone node in the dig site. So they've been very slowly going up. I actually have a sheet that kind of keeps track and it tells me that it's going to take about 300 years in game to finish that. 300 years of breaking the bone nodes of the dig site. Luckily, I only have to do that once a week, so once we start sleeping, it'll go by pretty quick. But uh, some of those are very annoying to get done. Okay. Uh, finally, the only other one I really want to talk about here... Well, actually, I want to look at the dwarf gadget. So we're 50% done with the dwarf gadget. Actually, the difference between these two is a good indication of how many more times we need to bomb the mines to get these dwarf gadgets. But we're making progress. So we're about 20% behind on the dwarf gadgets. But speaking of bombing the mines, that's also for these strange dolls. I don't know why there's such a discrepancy between the two. There's 30 more pink strange dolls than green ones, even though they have the exact same rate of appearing in the mines. It's just the way the luck swings. But um, we're about 15% done. So uh, we're going to have to bomb the mines about five times as much as we have already. A little bit more than that, even six times as much to get there but it will get there eventually and finally we have our decorations we have our plush bunnies which is about a one a year thing the stone stone junimo is a one a year thing and then we have our last two here the stone owl and the tea set the hardest items in the game to get a full stack of so the stone owl is just a sleeping game i need to clear out my farm and just sleep until i get enough stone owls unfortunately unfortunately it has not been happening <laughs> because my farm is full at the moment. I've basically filled up my entire farm. I tried to make space, they haven't spawned yet. So once we get finished with like fish and everything, I'm just gonna clear my farm off. And while we're sleeping, we're gonna hope we get a lot of these. I don't know how fast it's gonna be. This might be the last thing that finishes though as a result. Luckily, um, it's really easy, right? I just, I just sleep until I get owls. <laughs> I'm not too concerned about the difficulty there. It's just gonna be annoying. The tea set, the tea set, we recently found a very viable method to get a lot of tea sets. So thanks to Blade uh, and Jess for helping me as well. And basically, as long as I know who's giving me a gift, I can figure out if I'm going to get a tea set that year or not. So this year, for instance, I have Willy. Willy cannot give me a tea set. So as a result of that, um, I did not get a tea set this year. But the previous two years, I found out who was giving me the tea set. I worked out what tile they had to be standing on to give me a tea set when I entered the festival, and I got the tea set both times. So that's a really good sign that the method works. Uh, as a result of that, tea sets will be annoying, but they will be doable, which is exactly what I wanted. All right. So uh, that is everything on this spreadsheet, but we are not technically done yet. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, let me do this and this. Beautiful. Okay, uh, we have to finish up our checklist. So let's go ahead and count our items that we finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 items have been stacked since the last audit. So let's go ahead and update this total here. And 
it gives us 688 out of 899. And if we go ahead and divide that out, we are now at 77% completion. Thanks, rounding. 76.5, but we round up here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So let's go ahead and fill out the different things that we have stacked. The fiddleheads are not yet done, unfortunately. So vegetables as a whole are not done. Forges, we have finished. Where are you? Nautilus shells. So now we are up to 18 forges complete. Flowers have been done. Fish. Of the fish we finished. The fish we finished. Bullhead, catfish, chub, sardine. So bullhead, catfish, chub, and all the way down to sardine. That is four total. So we are now at 28 out of 65. All right, on to the row. Of the row we finished, we finished bullhead row, catfish row, chub row, flounder row, and midnight carp row. So that is five. Bullhead row, catfish row, chub row, midnight carp row, and flounder row. Yep, that's five complete. So that brings us from 13 to 18. Good numbers. Okay, next up we have our artisan goods. Of our age row that we finished, we finished bullhead, catfish, chub, flounder, and midnight carp. <laughs> so the same ones. So we add five more to our artisan goods. That goes from 138 to 143. And let's go ahead and check those off. Bullhead, catfish, chub, flounder, and midnight carp. All right. After those there, I don't think we had any more... We did not have any more of those. So let's go ahead and get through all of that. On to our cooking. Cooking is now complete. 86 out of 86, check marked. Let me mark off the ones that were in here. Our maki roll and our seafoam pudding. Our cooking is now completely finished. All right, animal products and mob drops. Um, I believe we did not finish anything in this category to my knowledge here. Oh, no, we did. Uh, we finished radioactive ore and radioactive bars. Oh, that's not in this category. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so no, we did not finish anything in that category. Bye, Shiny. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Okay, nothing in seeds. Here we go. Metals, materials, and gems. We have completed actually four things in this category, magma geodes, stone geodes, radioactive ore, and radioactive bars. So that is four things in the category, which brings us to 32 out of 36. Category is almost complete, is what I'd like to say, but the remaining things are extremely difficult, unfortunately. Chat has sown much lunacy tonight. That's not surprising. <laughs> I'm glad you all are having fun. All right, for our other category, I don't know if we actually finished anything in this category. Oh, we did. We finished hoppers. And that's it. Okay, so 128 to 129. Let's go ahead and mark off the hoppers. It starts with an H, so it's probably up here somewhere. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, F is just really long is all. Why is this one marked in red? But none of the other ones are. <laughs> They're all spelled the same. Oh, whatever. Hopper. I wish I knew how to do alphabets. All right. Blind streamer. Imagine. Okay. So unfortunately, nothing else in the other category has been finished. But our artifact category was actually pretty lucrative. We finished four artifacts. We finished Ancient Seed, Dwarf Scroll, One, Rusty Cog, and Rusty Spoon. So we go from three all the way up to seven. Ancient Seed, Dwarf Scroll One, Rusty Cog, and Rusty Spoon. Sorry, not Spur. Uh, 
And those are the first artifacts that we finished since the dinosaur ones before I started streaming. I finished the dinosaur ones, the ones that dropped from the dinosaurs, the Pepperexes, like probably close to year 20, which was over 33, I'm sorry, 13 years ago in game. <laughs> so it's nice to add something else to that category. And with that, we have completed everything on our list up here. So before I forget here, let's make our way back up to the top. And let's update this so it correctly shows these values here. And like that, everything there is updated. So as a result of that, back to the total screen. This is our current standing of the 999 challenge, and I'm looking forward to continuing to work on it uh, for as long as it takes. Hopefully in the next two years or so, IRL, we will finish this up. Uh, bye for now, and I hope I'll see you next time.